God says in the Holy Quran and proclaim the pilgrimage among men they will come to thee on foot and mounted on every kind of camel lean on account of journeys through deep and distant mountain highways in the 19th century pilgrims transportation within the holy sites in Mecca relied on beasts of burden and on the pilgrims own feet but with the invention of modern means of transportation in the 20th century, vehicles and buses were introduced to give pilgrims more convenience in moving around. And for that purpose, nine roads were built running in east-west direction across the holy sites. However, with substantial increases in the number of pilgrims and vehicles carrying them in the holy sites, the road network has become unable to accommodate pedestrians and vehicles simultaneously. Their number exceeding 70,000 vehicles and buses, congested all roads. Pilgrims had to wait for long hours while returning from Arafat to Muzdalifa. Some had to remain in their buses for 10 hours, traveling from Arafat to Muzdalifa or to Mina. And so to ensure that pilgrimage rituals are performed within the time stipulated by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and followed by Muslims throughout history, Saudi authorities focused on controlling traffic flows and the use of shuttle buses as a way to alleviate road congestion. Later on, the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques decided to build a railway in the southern section of the holy sites. A southern line duped al mashar al muqaddasa Mitra will be the most effective solution to transport the largest possible number of pilgrims in the shortest possible time while maintaining the highest performance, quality, health and environmental standards. Pilgrims past hardships will be substantially eliminated as their trip from Arafat to Muzdalifa and to Mina will only take several minutes. Previously, such trips by vehicles took at least several hours. al mashar al muqaddasa Metro has three stations in each holy site. Three stations in Mina, at al Jamarat, Mina 1 and Mina 2. Three stations in Muzdalifa, Muzdalifa 1, 2, and three and three stations in Arafat Arafat one two and three these stations are located to minimize walking distance for the pilgrims this southern line has been designated to serve pilgrims coming from the GCC countries Saudi Arabia and other pilgrims traveling from abroad on land Altogether, these pilgrims were formerly transported in the holy sites by about 30,000 vehicles. A train on the southern line will have 12 cars. Each can hold 250 pilgrims. Taking into consideration such factors as environment, pilgrim safety, crowding and speed of passenger loading and uploading, the cars are designed with five doors on each side. So, in every train, there are 60 doors, each provided with guidance units 
offering necessary information to pilgrims. The train length is 300 meters and is considered the longest of its kind in the world. It can accommodate 3,000 passengers and transport 72,000 pilgrims per hour per direction between Arafat and Muzdalifa. The project has a closed circuit camera surveillance system that allows monitoring the train operations from the operations control center. Cars are air conditioned to give pilgrims extra comfort during their journey. Complying with international safety standards for trains Cars are equipped with several systems such as public address, smoke detection, and firefighting, and an emergency system in addition to other safety facilities. Passengers will be given tickets in the form of bracelets that they will put on their wrists during the trips. Each group of stations will be associated with specific colored bracelets. Blue bracelets are for users of stations Mina 1, Muzdalifa 1, and Arafat 1. Yellow bracelets are for users of stations Mina 2, Muzdalifa 2, and Arafat 2. Green bracelets are for users of Jamarat Station and those of Muzdalifa 3 and Arafat 3. To enforce train departing times while ensuring pilgrim safety and preventing massive crowding in stations, pilgrims will be moved in groups from their camps to the metro stations in Mina. From there, they will depart to Arafat according to their group schedule. Journeys to Arafat from Mina will begin at 8 p.m. on the 8th of the Hijjah and continue to noon on the 9th of the Hijjah. This train trip takes only 15 minutes. Pilgrims will stay in Arafat in specific areas that are fenced and have gates that don't allow entry except to pilgrims wearing the required bracelets. The gates will be manned by control teams from the Ministry of Hajj and the Central Development Projects Directorate. The journey from Arafat to Muzdalifa by train will begin at 5.40 p.m which is at the time of calling Maghrib prayers. Service will continue until the last pilgrim group has been transported at about 10 p.m. According to the timetables, pilgrims will be taken in groups to the waiting yards at the train stations. The trip takes seven minutes. Pilgrims disembark in Muzdalifa in special areas which are fenced and cannot be entered through the gates except by those who have the proper bracelets. The transportation of pilgrims by train from Muzdalifa to Mina will begin at midnight and continue until 8.30 a.m. on the 10th day of Dhul Hijjah. They will disembark in stations Mina 1, Mina 2, and Jamarat Station. Pilgrims having bracelets may ride the train on a day and the next three days of Tashriq to reach Al Jamarat and return to their camps in Mina. Other categories of pilgrims who wish to use the train on Eid and Tashriq days may ride the train from the stations to Al Jamarat and from Al Jamarat to their camps. They have to wear special bracelets which offer a four day pass service. They can then return by train to the stations near 
which they have left their vehicles in designated car parking. Pilgrims who stay in Mecca, Jeddah and Taif during the Tashriq days can take the train from Dukm al or Arafat. Three stations where car parking is available next to them. We ask all pilgrims and mutawwifs to stick to the timetables drawn for movements of pilgrims in groups, especially going to the stations. There will be official representatives wearing uniforms from the Ministry of Hajj and the Central Development Projects Directorate. They will control pilgrim groups' movements with the support of public security personnel. Dear Pilgrim, if you don't stick to the time allocated to you in the schedule, you may miss the appropriate time for you to ride on the train. We hope you will follow the instructions given by the guides, representatives and policemen. They are there to direct your movements to and from the stations according to the timetables. We advise you to be disciplined and to use the guidance, signs and color information to help you make a safe and comfortable pilgrimage. Dear Pilgrims, it's absolutely prohibited to carry any luggage in the train except a small bag for utmost necessities. We ask Almighty God to help us all be collaborative in making the best use of new resources dedicated by the government of the custodian of the two holy mosques for the safety and convenience of all pilgrims. With the compliments of His Royal Highness Prince Dr. Mansour ibn Mitab ibn Abdulaziz al-Saud, Minister of Municipal and Rural Affairs.